This Lenten season, Catholics are calling for 40 days of life. And though New York is still reeling from the passing of the Reproductive Health Act, studies show more Americans are choosing to protect life. And here to talk more about the fight for the unborn is Kathleen Gallagher, Director of Pro-Life Activities for the New York State Catholic Conference. Kathy, thank you so much for being with us as always. Thank you. Since the passing of the Reproductive Health Act, people on both sides of this issue have weighed in, some with very, very strong opinions. Now, the good news here for, for us is this new extreme abortion bill has actually opened up a dialogue, but has it brought more awareness to the evils of abortion? Well, um, from where I sit, um, we are seeing an awakening of pro-life people, especially young people. They are really... They're, first of all, they're heartbroken about this new law. They have real grief over it, but, but they're also angered and they want to do something about it. So we've seen this pro-life passion and fervor get stirred up, which is really a good thing because it's an opportunity to educate people about what's really going on. Also, I'm hearing from pro-choice people, people on the other side of this debate who are saying, you know what? I'm okay with abortion in the first trimester, but you're talking about third trimester babies who are burping and hiccuping and, and sucking their thumbs. I'm not okay with that. Kathy, New York has been called the abortion capital of the world. I have some statistics that I wanna just run past you. According to the CDC in 2015, 28.2% of pregnancies in New York ended in abortion. That is over 93,000 abortions performed. Mm -hmm. Your reaction to those numbers, especially now that we have the Reproductive Health Act in existence. New York State does rank number one in the entire country in terms of our abortion rate. It's very, very sad and tragic. And the really sad part is I'm afraid that the passage of the Reproductive Health Act is just going to increase those numbers. We have been seeing the numbers trend downward, both nationally and in New York State over the past decade. But I'm afraid now we've given the green light to late term abortionists in neighboring states like Pennsylvania, for example, which have a real hard line and say no abortions after 24 weeks. I'm afraid we're inviting those abortionists now into New York State saying, you know, our state is progressive and we've got this late term abortion law. Come on in and open up your trade. I also worry about uh, abortion providers because now not only doctors are allowed to perform late term abortions, but also uh, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, midwives. I worry about what's going to happen to them. Abortion can have a traumatic impact not only on the woman and her unborn child, but on the abortion providers themselves. Kathy, in the time we have left, Let's address those concerns. Let's be proactive. How do we move our country to a culture of life? There's so many things people can be doing right now to educate. Sign the petition to repeal the late-term abortion law. It's at newyorkersforlife.org. Write to your state assembly person and your state senator and don't let them off the hook if they voted for this. We have to remember this come election day in 2020. The people in Albany are supposed to be representing us, so we have to hold them accountable. We also have to educate with letters to the editors and speaking out whenever we can to our friends to our neighbors on the radio, anywhere we can talk about this and how we need to protect human life. But ultimately, we really are going to change the culture one pregnancy at a time. So we have to be promoting our support services, our life-affirming pregnancy care services and post-abortion healing services for women who are faced with an unplanned pregnancy. Kathy Gallagher, always a pleasure. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thanks so much, Liz.